Hello everybody, it's L.E. Diecast, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new car culture series that is out. This is the Hot Wheels Redliners, and as you can see, it is all based off of some drag stripping goodness. Some nice looking cars. There is number one. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, something I did not know, I learned this recently, that artwork that's on there, there's another one, we'll see all five of them in a second. That artwork is all done by the same person that has done all of the car culture blisters. Even though each, uh, each series has a different style to it, it's all done by the same person. That's pretty, pretty crazy. I know quite a bit about digital art, and that is some, that is some good work right there. <laughs> I thought that was a, uh, photograph at first. I thought these were based off of real cars. I don't think they are, but we will take a look at these. Now we're going to take each of these out. I hate to destroy those cards, but I really don't need them and I plan on keeping these. So let's get into it. The first one is the 78 Mercury Cougar. Very nice looking car. These have metal bodies, metal bases, rubber tires, all sorts of different rims on these. Here are the cars in the series before I forget to show you. And of course that gasser is probably the hardest one to find. And let's take a look. Just hate to, hate to destroy the blisters, but... I have no way of really keeping the blisters. So there is that car. Look at those rims. That is a nice car. It's got slicks on it. No, it doesn't. Sorry. I'm looking at it in the in the camera. Those are not slicks. That is the Cougar. That is a nice one. We'll leave him down there. Number two is the Dodge Charger RT in red, white, and blue. It's a nice one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, nice, nice. This series has been very popular for Hot Wheels. Hard to find these. I was lucky to find these at all. There is the car. Don't really like the silver interior on this, but this one might be my least favorite. This one does have the slicks on it. Put him over there. Next up, the Copo Camaro in blue. Open it up. There we go. Put that guy down there. Here's that gasser. Now this is probably the hardest one to find of the group. I, I've seen the set. I've seen the other four cars. But I only saw the gasser uh, the, when I first saw these, and they just happened to have one set sitting out on the shelf, so I got it. But I've not seen another gasser since. This one's going to have the thin tires on the front. And that one I think is my favorite from the series. That is... If you collect those gassers, this is a nice one to add to the collection. Look at the big old fat tires on the back, thin tires on the front. Still have never liked that front on this car, but I do use it a lot with my customs. This one is not going to get customized. <laughs> a little bit too nice to probably do that to. And lastly, we have the 69 Corvette Racer. In yellow. This was a new model that showed up this year in the A or B case. I forget which. I think it was the A case. And now it gets its 
next variation as far as the series. I've got a little paint on my tire there. That'll come off. So very nice series. Um, are those, uh, can't tell. Oh, I thought they were the moon eyes on the front there. Looked like it here in my camera view. So there are all the tampos on there if you want a closer look. So a five car series. I think these are only available at Walmart. And uh, well, good luck finding the whole set, but <laughs> very nice looking set for you there at Walmart. So good luck finding them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.